about Rotary International. And today with me is the district governor elect. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to Heart of Thank you very much for having me. Okay, sir, please, can we meet you in person? All right, my name is Ayola Oedo I'm the district governor elect for District 925 Nigeria. Right. I am from the District of Public Systems Center in Abuja, FCT here. Thank you. And my practice is from the Public Systems as we do in Rotary. Okay, thank you very much. So, I want to know about uh, the seven areas of focus in Rotary. Okay, thank you very much. When we talk about the seven areas of focus in Rotary, we are talking about how we intervene in the committee that we serve. And in the committee we serve, it is given in seven focus areas. Right. You have the maternal and child health. That is, if you have to have any intervention concerning maternal and child health, how you can help prevent um, any uh, death of children, you know, prevent um, loss of pregnancies, anti-natal care, postnatal care, all this fall under that uh, area of focus when we are talking about intervention. We also have the area of peace prevention and that is when we have organized seminars that you know help sensitize the society about how we can live peaceably with one another. We also have scholarships that are available for people to go and study for peace scholars in, in the universities which is fully funded by Rotary. So in such area, we intervene when it comes to area of peace in that direction. And we also have an area of focus when we call it disease prevention and treatment, you know, when we try to prevent diseases, you know, from the community that we serve. We go and do medical missions, we go and um, treat them for some common diseases, you know, that they can even afford. So, when you intervene in that direction, that is an area of focus that you know Rotary intervenes on. We also have the water hygiene and sanitation, you know, which we use uh, to help provide water, sanitary uh, wares, even our safe water, you know, all those things that concern water. Yeah. Hygiene and sanitation yeah. is an area of focus that we intervene as well. We also have the economic development, you know, when we empower women, when we empower the youth, when we have empowered a lot of people to, you know, be able to be useful for themselves, you know, and, you know, we give them continuous tutelage. Then also another area of focus is the supporting the environment, you know, when we ensure that our environment is protected, you know, in that direction. So we have seven areas, you know, which uh, we focus on to carry out our intervention programs. Okay, right. Okay, so the I'm aware that Rotary Foundation is the engine room of Rotary International. So I don't know if you can throw more light on that. Yes, you will not be wrong if you say that uh, the Rotary Foundation is the engine room of Rotary. What we have, we have Rotary International, which helps supervise clubs right. and the clubs in turn you know have members in their various clubs however the Rotary Foundation is the how do I put it the non-profit arm of Rotary where you can contribute and all the interventions that we do all around even in the areas of focus that I mentioned earlier right. it is done through the Rotary Foundation so voluntary contributions from Rotarians all around the world goes into the foundation and the foundation in turn use those funds to execute projects all around the world in forms of global grants, you know, returning back in form of district grants and you know they use it to fund some of the operations of um, the you know schools that uh, we have that are peace um, schools all around the world. So those are what the funds do. So it's the engine room because it helps us to carry out our humanitarian services all around the world. Right. Okay, so can non-Rotarians also contribute to the Rotary Foundation without being members of Rotary International? Yes, that is why it is an NGO. And when you talk about an NGO, we are open to collect funds. But majority of the bulk of funds that comes in are from Rotarians that are members of Rotary International. And they, they give selflessly 
And when you give, you know, you give to a cause, you give to a foundation that you know that is going to be doing good all around the world. You can imagine the foundation is the one that inspired the end polio campaign, you know, and Rotary is in the forefront of the end polio campaign. And you can see that we have eliminated polio, welfare virus polio by 99.9%. And these are funds that are contributed by everybody and our global partners as well. So anybody can contribute, but you have to, you know, you can give, you know, to the foundation. And every couple is well accounted for when you give to the Rotary Foundation. Okay, you, you made mention about polio. Because I, uh, I think in recent times, we, it was everywhere on the news, on the internet, that Africa is world polio free. So is it that the credit is all being given to Rotary International or uh, other bodies or stakeholders are also a uh, part of this success of eradicating polio in Africa? Well, you know, the effort is by everybody. Right. It's just that we are a, a force you know, driving that uh, participation by everybody. Right. So um, we need to appreciate governments, the federal government of Nigeria through the primary uh, ministry of health and the primary health care board, right. you know, they are also in front of it. So what we do is we do we do support for them, we you know carry out advocacy, we help, you know, all the immunization efforts, we are also part of it. So we are a support system for and, and you know for every government of the nation. And while the news is all around that Africa is polio free is the fact that you can only satisfy a continent, you don't satisfy a country. So Nigeria was almost the last in Africa that needed to be removed from the world polio endemic list. And you have to go three years you know, without any case of world polio virus. So Nigeria, being the last, you know, experienced a three-year period of no world polio case. And that made WHO to come and satisfy Nigeria. And you don't, because every other um, countries in Africa have been satisfied and are, are already free, they've gone three years without any one group. So Nigeria had to now be removed and now make the African continent to be satisfied as fully free, one fully free. Okay, so that means the credit goes to everybody, not just the trade internationally. Yes, military international, the global partners, the federal government of Nigeria, everybody was involved in the efforts. Thank you very much. So we've been talking to the district governor-elect and I told you we're going to be giving you head talk about Rotary International. So sir, before we quickly end the, the program, I would like you to please uh, tell viewers to tell viewers about Rotary International because I know that the essence of this discussion is to sensitize people about Rotary because most people don't know about it and um, so people that still know about it, they need to be informed. So I don't know if there's any word of advice to such people out there. Thank you very much for having me. And um, I want to speak directly to everybody that is watching right. today. I am a Rotarian. And for me to be a Rotarian, that means I'm a member of a Rotary Club. And being a member of a Rotary Club offers me the opportunity to be of service to the community. It also offers me the opportunity to serve above myself. And that is why in Rotary, we have about 1.2 million Rotarians all around the world doing good. We are people of action. We intervene where we find that there is a need. And all those needs fall in our seven areas of focus, as Adorali said. But there's one thing that is unique. Can you imagine 1.2 million people serving over 7 billion human beings in the world, trying to intervene where governments cannot reach, trying to help a child, you know, to have access to basic things of life, having access to water, having access, you know, to childcare, you know, to be able to have the basic drugs that you need, to have the immunization at a lower cost. We are people of action. We need more members of the society to come and join us. We need more members to come and contribute so that we can be able to do good all around the world. Join us today. We are open. We meet in the open. We are businessmen. We are professionals in our various rights. 
We have the youths that are also part of us in our Rotary family. We have even the interactors. So everybody can be a member of the Rotary family. And the moment you are a member of the Rotary family, you are a citizen of the world, and you will become a, 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 a person of action where you make things happen. And you will touch the lives of people that you will never know. I call you upon you. Join us today and let us serve humanity. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much Dr. for making our time to be with Heart to Heart today. It's, in fact, it's really, really a pleasure. I know how long I've been trying to have this session and it's worth it. So for you viewers out there, don't forget Rotary International is doing good. And if you're not part of the family yet, you are Mesa. So please find time to join any club close to you. We are going to be giving you heads up as time goes on. Bye for now. Hello. Viewers out there, my name is Rotaran Ayola Oedokun. I'm a member of the Rotary International. I'm a channel accountant and a task consultant by profession. I'm in Rotary and the district government yet. I'll be at the day I will be installed come July 2021. And I want to encourage you to watch and view as the last